What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today's video we got a 2023 ZX6R. This thing, so crispy clean, just came all the way from New York. We just did a set of ceramic wheel bearings install and this customer seems to have all the right modifications on it. We're gonna see, is this the most powerful ZX6 we've ever dynoed? Or we're gonna find out today. We got a recipe for all the parts that we're gonna lay out and show you on this thing. He got a lot of pretty parts on it too. And by that, I mean carbon fiber this, carbon fiber that. Doesn't add horsepower, but boy, does it make it look good. All the right modifications. Look, even got wings. I don't know if it'll fly, but I'm pretty sure it's got the right equipment to do it with. We're gonna be putting this thing on the dyno, flashing the ECU, seeing what it's all about. Plenty more to come in this video, guys. Stay with us, here we go. thing first let's talk about the modifications so the customer's got a driven sprockets he's got a 520 chain conversion and we just did ceramic wheel bearings what are ceramic wheel bearings they are expensive fancy wheel bearings that really really make a difference they are worth every penny you pay for them and then a little bit more it makes the rear wheel slash and front wheel turn much easier than factory now i know you're like chris how can that really make that much difference 400 and something dollars for wheel bearings are you crazy well the easiest way to tell flatten the tires on your bike push the bike see how good it rolls well pump the tires up to crazy amount of air and push the bike and see how it rolls well the wheel bearings they essentially kind of do the same thing if you push it with the factory wheel bearings and then push it with the ceramic wheel bearings it literally feels like the same amount of difference it rolls so much better when you have the ceramic wheel bearings literally until you ride a bike with those installed you do not understand how much of a difference they make we do keep those in stock for a lot of all the new sport bikes here at more mafia so you can always hit us up moremafia.com we can help you get some for your bike carbon fiber front fender I think these are made by Rizomo, maybe? Rizomo? I don't know how you say it. Anyways, the little wings with the mirrors, these things, super cool, good looking. But the carbon fiber dash components, carbon fiber back here, carbon fiber here. This customer has really got this thing set up with a lot of good looking parts. Fancy chain adjusters. Look at the Austin Racing exhaust. The diameter is huge. Technically, not really because it shrinks down here. Got a little bit of a trickery there, but it looks really, really nice. And it sounds super good. Full titanium, Graves exhaust. Now we're gonna be doing something a little different with this one once we get it on the dyno. We're gonna be doing two tunes. The customer has two ECUs. Yeah, guys, that's right. Double the price, but he's gonna get the bike exactly the way he wants it. He's gonna be doing a lot of track days and race stuff. So he wants to block the pair valve off, make the bike run as smooth as possible, no pops, no nothing, nice and quiet, and get the best possible performance he can get. Now, pair valve block off plates do not add horsepower. They do make the bike run cleaner, smoother, down low, if the bike is tuned for those. Then he wants to act a little hooligan on the street. We're gonna have, he has his separate ECU, which has the same part number. There are stickers on the ECU that have part numbers. You gotta match up those part numbers. You can't just swap any ECU into any bike. The part numbers have to match on the ECU. On that ECU, we're gonna do a pops and bangs tune to get him to flames, to get him to noise, to get him to sounds, to get him all the fun stuff. But he'll be able to switch back and forth at his discretion. We're gonna be blocking the pair valve off with the marble mod. The marble is gonna go right here. We'll talk more and show you that once we get later into the video. I'll show you how you can do that and possibly switch that back and forth on your bike. We got the bike loaded down on the dyno. We got the engine warmed up. We're going to be doing the pops and bangs tune first. 
and the pair valve is not blocked off. Now, one more thing I wanted to point out. I don't know if I said it earlier, but this bike does have Graves Velocity Stacks as well. So we're gonna see how those things perform on top end. Typically, Velocity Stacks are gonna add power on the top end, maybe take away a little in the mid-range. They don't really add horsepower overall, they move horsepower. So it takes it from one spot and puts it in another. This thing shoots some good fire, dude. You guys are gonna love this. Pops and bangs, people, be smiling. Guys that hate pops and bangs, hold on one minute, we'll have it tuned in the other way. Headphone users, you might wanna turn it down a little bit, this thing's a lot.
see you is flashing. Now you can see here, uh, there's a sticker right here. There's a little part number on that sticker. If you wanted to buy an extra ECU for your bike to be able to do something like this, or just say you wanted to keep your ECU as stock backup, you can do that, but you gotta make sure this number and that number match. There are, on these new ZX6s, four different option ECUs, <coughs> excuse me, for the same year model bike. Anyway, so we're putting the same tune into that ECU and we ended up making, after a few more pulls, 125 horsepower out of this ZX6, making it the highest horsepower ZX6 we've had on the dyno so far. 125.34 with 50 foot-pounds of torque. So this is proven to be the ultimate recipe for the highest horsepower you know, ZX6 so far. Now you can see here we have literally a marble, a little ball, nothing special. Right here on this right hand side of the air box, there is a vacuum hose. Now I'm gonna try to see, I'm gonna try to put this in, if I can shine my flashlight here for you. See the hose, we've got it off down there now. See the pliers are holding the hose. We gotta take our marble and stick it down into that hose. That's gonna take a little finagling, a little fine tuning. Tucker here, he's a marble sticking in the hose expert. So we're gonna let him weasel this thing in there. We're gonna take just a little bit of lube, make our marble nice and slippery, hold it with the pliers, shove the marble down in the hose, and that essentially does the same thing as pair valve block off plates. Basically what you're doing, the engine has exhaust gases and fumes and stuff in that it recycles back into the air box. So we are essentially blocking, uh-oh, marble fell. Uh, we're essentially blocking that off so that the air is, the engine is only breathing in fresh air. Now I know you're like, ah, oh, it's breathing in gassy air. Guys, it, it really, it, it changes the tune. So we have to tune it different one way versus the other, but on the ultimate horsepower, really doesn't make much of a difference. You're gonna see that here in a second. The new ECU is in, the pops and bangs are gone. The horsepower is still the same. Take a look, take a listen. Let me know which one would you rather have. Number 16 is our, with the pair valve, 125.34, 50 foot-pounds of torque. Our without the pair valve is 125.21 and 49.79. Now, does that mean that not having the pair valve makes more horsepower than having the pair valve? No, that's just what our dyno number has shown. Had we dynoed a couple more times, I'm sure it probably, I mean, I'm gonna call this basically the same number anyway. When you're talking about 0 0.1, 0 0.2 horsepower, I mean, look at it. Red and blue are on top of each other pretty much the whole step of the way. You can see it's pretty much the exact same thing, guys, with a pair valve or without a pair valve, but you hear it definitely doesn't sound the same. So whichever you prefer, we can do for you. MoreMafia.com, you can send your ECU in to get it flashed. We can set it up however your bike is set up now and to cater to whatever you want to have, whether you want the pops or you want no pops. You can see we can do either one and 
get you tons of horsepower out of either setup. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the channel. Check out riderich.com. They've hooked us up with some new merch. I've got some Ride Rich gear on. I've been had riding with some Ride Rich stuff. They make very high quality clothes and it's a pretty good price too. Check out riderich.com. You'll be happy you did. Check out moremafia.com. We got ECU flashes. We got t-shirts galore. Giveaways coming up. The Ninja H2 giveaway starting at the end of July. Whatever you purchase after July 28th on the website goes towards getting yourself entered into that Ninja H2 giveaway. Somebody's gonna win themselves a new H2. Smash that like button, smash the subscribe, click the bell for notifications, blah, 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 bl